Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on Rocket Crawler and Teller Beast vs. Surge of Brain Attack Wave 2 from 2014, of course. So, on the front of the bags here, you have some, uh, the two logos, Invasion from Below logo, and some nice artwork on the top part of them. But just like with the first wave, of course, and picture of the sets that come within, but now in the underground cave parts, because since, of course, I, later on in the special, or in the special Nickelodeon episode, of course, they always appear in the underground cap room, go into the cap rooms, of course. So, also picture of the sets that come within, and have the age group, set number, amount of pieces, and then down below are the names of the sets and the figs and all included. And on the back we have another different pictures of the sets and actual size of the mini figs included and also how the jumper works and all the usual warnings and everything. And underneath is some interesting artwork to that, just like we had with the first wave of course, but yeah. And onto the manual, so which same picture as on the front of the bags and everything. A little comic strip here. On the back, kind of win on the online survey, but without, but in the newer kind of style, just rather than with Evil Wing Kid, of course. But yeah, then out of the uh, app and the website and all the sets of of the page from below wave two which I will also which I'm gonna be doing for some upcoming throwback Thursdays. And then also a little comic strip and check off list of all the minifigs, jumpers and cocoon so that are included with each set of course. And then how you can swap uh, top parts of other ones onto Surgeon Rocket Combat Machine. And then combination models that the two that all the sets make, and another little comic strip of all of the sets, of course. And the pieces that come with the set, and the final final building steps. Single minifigs included with both of these sets. <clears throat> yeah, first off, we have Raka. Yeah, Raka making his uh, second appearance in, or second appearance in the sets. Which the only way to get him was a uh, Raka crawler in the first wave, of course. But at least Army Raka stealth machine first wave, but crawler here, a uh, cheaper alternative to getting him. And also get first time of having Surge to as in minifig form is that although all the pieces would same as all the rest but in blue and regular silver then and for his uh, helmet mask piece which do, does look kind of close to that Surge but just but except just doesn't have any like extra bits to him which his uh, his usual past versions had. Not sure why, but whatever. But also headpiece, regular headpiece, but in red. But I don't get why red, because Surge always seemed to have like either bright green or yellow, or yeah, yellow. It was yellow that he traditionally has. But I don't know why that is, but whatever. And also with Surge, just like we had with on Stormer and a couple others in the first wave, is this one by two tile. Well, that has the Hero Factory symbol and some other things on it, of course. And also, unlike with that, the holder clip piece does match his color scheme, which I think it would have been fine in black, but whatever. And also, of course, 
since at this time, 2014, when we were introduced to Stud Shooter, same within the Star Wars sets at that time, of course. Which, of course, as we all know how it goes. Like, you know, tap on these and they fire off like so. And there they are from the backs and, of course, the little things that stick out to connect them to the cockpits of the mechs, of course. But yeah. That's it with that. And now, onto this one jumper, which also which is included with Rocket Crawler. And of course, the bottom part, same as all the rest from in the first wave, but the top part is in blue. And even though the rest of the first wave, and also just a couple in this wave, do come with black on. Or still come with black, but not sure why in blue, but whatever. And of course, just like the rest where you can just pinch it down, and it flings off, of course. And also do get the all-new cocoon piece, which is new to this way, and of course. And now this one's in red, which is the most common of the way, of which a couple are in green and a couple are in blue. And, and how these are made is with the... All three uh, tech, with three-way Technic holder piece and also these separate pieces, so this, which make one third of it, and are both plastic and this soft rubber, and also can like fold right down and it shows them open up, which is quite cool for that time, of course. And you can stick either a jumper or a hero mini thing into a course to represent them trapping, trapped or hatching out a course and reach in like so. And so now on to Rocket Crawler. It, it's uh, uh, quite small and dinky, or kind of small for what it's like. See a few pieces, kind of a bit like Evil Walker in the first way, so I think it's kind of the same as that. But although the name's kind of odd, like doesn't have any crawlingness to it, but why not let the Winter Set be Evil Crawler and this be Rocka Walker? Uh, not sure why, but whatever. And feet of which the traditional foot and feet pieces, as all the other, as the other. Uh, Beast sets of the line all have and have the uh, four long armor pieces in gold, like we had with uh, Raka Breakout, of course. And also with those Savage Planet add on pieces with Exoforce arms and going down to Golden Chainsaw that's nice for mocking, mocking, of course. And on the back, which is a size four armor piece, but just with a but in Gummel Gray, of course, and attached with one of the odd technic uh, beams that atta attach to it, like we've seen this time. But although what I think for articulation is, I think there could have been a little more like one of those smallish uh, limb pieces added on here, and also the legs, which make it a little more poseable, but I think that's more. Right, yeah, like this kind of piece added to that, then you get some more movement out of it. But, but you can do that yourself, but yeah. And as for the cockpit area, which same as all the rest of which, but just without the canopy bit going over it. And of course, like all the rest, fit your Raka minifig into a course. And also you get a couple more Exo Force hands with the lightsaber rot bits in uh, trans yellow, of course. And on the top is, just like what also came with Rock a Stealth Machine, is one of the armor bits with some golden black prints onto it, of course. And as on the picture, can fit the stud shooter onto, of course, but yeah. And I guess that is about it with Rock a Crawler. And now on to Tumbler Beast, of course. Since 
And if you remember that job east of which was like with the small villain set in the winter wave and key which kind of this of which the same but for the summer wave of course for this summer wave of course it was kind of like lucky coincidence but although job east a little bit larger than a little taller than him but at least they do quite well together of course and although as for the legs of which just all these pieces that go down and also those hand connector pieces the newer types but in black it was nice to see which we haven't seen since like witch doctor in savage planet of course and also these pieces that were introduced with jaw beast and a couple others so good to see them carry on to here and of course see them a little more often in the future often in the future of course and as for his back piece of which which is about one third of one of the cocoon top pieces that does do that of course but of course make it extra to that but what i maybe perhaps what i think they could have done is let these back ones be also be in green contrast with the color scheme but maybe that's just me and also the only armor piece on him is this size black size three armor one but Although I think they could have done is maybe use longer ones and add some more onto that, but maybe that's just me. Okay, but yeah. And also have this extender piece of that, like with Waspix in Savage Planet, of course. <clears throat> and also the main body is the XT4 body piece, which Rock Crawler also had, of course. <coughs> and as for the arms of which, which are, of course, double jointed with that and also one of those interesting pieces on there holding his having exo4's hands work as fingers of course and as for the headpiece same as all some all the other beast sets of which but of course bottom part in black and one and top part in red with some interesting green color or printing of course and it does have some bit of movement but can't go up all the way because of that little technic bit to it but as some say that best ways do it sideways of course but although you can do that if you want but yeah and so now on to the final verdict So for my overall work, I think these which are quite good sets for the time. Well, for this wave, of course, like for Rocket Crawler, at least good to have both a jumper and cocoon for in a small edge set, of course, and good alternative way to get uh, Rocka, of course, and also it does serve as a good parts pack of gold pieces, of course, and for Tunnel Beast, good cheap way to get Surge, of course, and. Also, some good amount, little all right amount red added to him. But although I think he could have had a little more bulk to him or whatever, but maybe that would have bumped his price point up a little more. But whatever. And of course, both these I can forgive how they came around, of course. And yeah. Although I do think Tumblr Beast could have had a little more color to him instead of just the black and gray on him. But yeah. And so, overall, and so, if any of y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.